Hi, I am going to do another review for you today and this is called the Decor Diaper Pail. I use this for my twins and I have liked it so far. I'm going to show you how it works and if you guys want to purchase it, I will put the link in the description to Amazon. So let's check it out. Okay, here is the Decor Diaper Pail. It's D-E-K-O-R. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but um, this pail is awesome. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was around $40. Again, I'll put the link in the description. And I use this for my twins. They're seven months old. And as you can imagine, they go through a lot of diapers. But I take it out twice a week and because mainly because of the smell. But when it fills up, I take it out and it's really easy to do. So on the top right here, it opens up by this foot release. So it's really nice that you don't have to actually use your hands because when you're changing a baby's diaper, obviously your hands are dirty. So that helps with the germs and it has a little drop thing right here that's spring loaded. So you can just throw the diaper in and it'll close on its own. Again, you don't have to touch anything. Um, if the diaper isn't heavy enough, you can just kind of push the diaper through, um, with, again, without touching anything but the diaper. So there's also a lock on this, which I don't ever use. I'm not really sure why you would need it, but it's there nonetheless. So yeah, I like how it has a foot pedal and that it's hands-free. That's one of the main reasons why I like this pail. Now I'm gonna show you how to change the diaper pail. This one is full, um, so it needs to be changed. And I buy um, the Decor diaper liners. Now, you don't have to use this brand diaper liner. I have heard that you can use just a regular trash bag. It'll fit in here, but it's definitely not as easy and convenient. This one, it's just, um, it's like a cycling system. So you tie a knot in the bottom, which I'll show you in a minute. And then when you're done, it has a little um, spot where you cut the bag off and then you tie it again and it goes on and on and on. So I think this is very convenient. It might be a little bit more expensive, but for a mom, I'm mainly looking for convenience and time saving. So. I'm going to put a link to this also in my description. If you want to check it out, it'll be on Amazon. This is a two-pack box, um, and I probably need to replace this with twins. Now, this is double the usage, so I would say I replace it once every three to four weeks. So if you only have one child in diapers, it's going to go a lot longer than that. It says that um, this holds up to 1160 diapers in the two refills. And it also says it's tough on odor and it really is. Like this thing never smells and when you put the bag in the container it smells good. It kind of has a scent to the bag which I really like. It's just kind of like a fresh powdery smell. It's not a chemical smell or overbearing or anything like that. It's just a really nice, like I said, almost like a baby powder smell. There's also directions on the back of the box on how to put this in, but I'm gonna show you how to do it because it's a lot easier when you watch somebody. Um, so yeah, let's check it out and do it. Okay, there is a button on the side of the can right here. Well, it's not really a button, it's more like a release. So you slide that down and then this bottom part opens. Most people are gonna think that you take the diapers out of the top and that's absolutely not what you do. So you have to open the bottom, it just swings open. And as you can tell, this is really full and I have a knot down here in my bag. Can you see that? So I had tied the knot previously and I try and get it as close to the end as possible. So I just pull it out. And then this bag, there's a little, I don't know if you can see over here, a little U-shaped, um, device right here and that has a razor down in it so all you have to do is slide the bag in between the U and it cuts it off and then I tie it and then out it goes into the garbage 
Now, there's still a bit more left in this bag, so all I would do is pull this down a little bit and then tie another knot. And then I would hang it in there and close it up. It's simple. So now it's ready to go. You can tell how much bag I have left. This bag's almost gone. So I'm going to show you now how to use the Decor Plus refills and put a whole new bag inside. Now when you open this up, it's just going to be like this. There's a little um, tag on it and it shows you which way to hold it. See how it says this side up? So make sure that you have it the right way. And it's just like a big loop like this. So I'm holding it up. And this, when you do the refill, you do it from the top when you have a brand new bag. So you open it up. You're gonna keep it right side up and tear this off. And then you're just gonna put this around. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. See how there's this insert right here and there's a little tiny um, gap. That's where we're putting the bag. slide it in there and then you can kind of see how this is already coming up. That is the innermost loop and that's going to be where your bag starts. So you're going to pull out the innermost loop, tie a knot just like I did before and it's okay that this knot is going to be on the inside of your bag. It really doesn't matter as long as your diapers stay in there. There I have my knot. And I just push it down in the garbage can, close this, and you're ready to go. So it's really easy to change to a new liner and also to take out your current liner and just recycle it. Um, I highly recommend this. It's definitely a cheaper option than some of the other ones that are out there. And the refills are not expensive. It smells good. It keeps it fresh. And... Um, it's worked really well for me. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the description for the decor diaper pail and the refills. And thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.